What the f- Why am I black? <laughs> Listen, obviously most of us saw that fight with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul last night. And, uh, well, technically I didn't see it. I went to get some chicken or something like that. You know, some nice, delicious chicken at Buffalo Wings. And uh, the lady was telling me about it. that they're going to show it on, on um, in their venue. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just take it to go. And then the next day I just saw the highlight reel. And um, the way I would describe it, I would say that um, uneventful. Physical condition. What a legend! <laughs> Hope you're ready to die. I'm a bathe in your fucking blood, Logan. Look at Grandpa go. Uh, just joking. My man's still the goat for real, for real. Respect. Let's make it look convincing. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my class a clean hell and it looks like it hurt. Let's see how. Yeah, I, w I would say that. Only eventful. Then again, what do you expect? It's an exhibition. It was a payday for Mike Tyson. And uh, I don't think he actually, you know, cared that much about his legacy. Has he actually, you know, displayed on this quick little interview right here that you see with this girl? A monumental opportunity for kids my age to see the legend Mike Tyson in the ring for the first time. So after such a successful career, what type of legacy would you like to leave behind when it's all said and done? Man, I don't know. I don't believe in the word legacy. I just think that's another word for ego. Legacy doesn't mean nothing. That's just some word everybody grabbed onto. Someone said that word and everyone grabbed on the word, so now it's used every five seconds. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just passing through. I'm going to die and it's going to be over. Who cares about a legacy after that? What a, what a big ego. I'm going to die. I want people to think that I'm this. I'm great. I'm No, we're nothing. We're just dead. We're dust. We're absolutely nothing. Our legacy is nothing. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. That is something that I have not heard before. Someone say that as an answer. So thank you so much for giving me that kind of idea as well. Oh, Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Mm. That's not how you inspire the next generation for them to actually elevate themselves and be better in life. And um, I mean, you are a very deep man, but I think you should just kind of lay it out because you're giving me some of that like, you know, all right. You know, after you like you have a nice joint and then you just like thinking about the stars, the moons, the universe and like the role that we play in this speck of dust that we call life. And then you just like have all this philosophical conversation about like how insignificant that we are on this blue planet. But not for the kids, bro. Come on. Come on. Just just stop. Stop. I not really imagine somebody saying, I want my legacy to be this way when I get that. Why do you want to you think I really want to think about you? How, how, what's your dad that I think I want people to think about me when I'm gone? Who the fuck cares about me when I'm gone? Who my kids, maybe grandkids. Yeah, true. Kids. And again, thank you so much for sharing that. And I also have a gift to you. Okay, Mike. We get it. We, we get, we get it. Mm. We got it. Yeah, that interview just like, it was kind of scary. Look, listen. The whole mo the whole promotion leading to that fight was way more interesting to me <laughs> than the fight itself. Fuck you, Mike. I'm gonna beat your ass when we step in the ring. Yo, what the fuck? I can't feel my face. I eat those, okay? I ate that shit. I didn't even feel it. He's angry. He's an angry little elf. Mike Tyson, I thought that was a cute slap, buddy, but tomorrow you're gonna- Where in the fuck am I at right now? Why is Mike Tyson standing across from me? Don't even feel- I didn't even fucking feel it. Okay, okay, my head's still attached to my body. That's a really good sign. Got to put on a show for all these people. Matter of fact, I feel so bad for Mike right now. I'm going to sit here and meditate for him, okay? Just, just to stop myself from hurting him. God, Allah, Buddha, somebody please, okay? I'm not asking you to give me the strength to beat Mike Tyson. I just I just really need to survive, okay? I got a lot left to live for, and it's too late to back out. People, people are going to clown me. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I was meditating for Mike so I don't hurt his ass. Y'all going to find out tomorrow for sure. Two, two
tune in on Netflix to, to, watch, to watch me beat his ass, I promise. Because I thought like Mike Tyson was going to turn this, was going to beat this boy up until he turned black and blue. <laughs> but that didn't happen. What you end up seeing is a tired old man that just, you know, just had to get that money real quick. Wait, I can be thinking of for you, Logan. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now go ahead. Oh, no. Ah, it hurts. Ouchie. him i mean i'm a little disappointed to be honest with you mike if you've seen this if you have ever seen this i got number love for you bro i have, i want no smoke with you <laughs> you know but getting back to it it was um it was quite a lopsided because you know if you take a look at the the if you have a look at the summary of the contract um it went a little something like this this is clearly red look at this but first of all mike tyson's gonna get paid more money to lose than to win secondly he is penalized for knocking out jake paul in the first round he's only gonna get paid a little bit of money if he knocks him out in his second round but to make the most money he has to survive all eight rounds while avoiding knocking jake out on top of that it has to go to decision but the problem is jake paul chose the judges this is crazy red bro if i'm mike tyson i don't give it. i'm gonna just knock him out anyway please just do it straight right so he's not allowed to knock your ass out he's not a, uh, you know in the um in the beginning of the fight or the the round whatever right you're supposed to try to go all eight round and the judge is that you pick yourself how the hell you expect mike tyson to perform when he at his age because all jake paul had to do is you know like wear him out for as long as possible and then he's able to actually you know work on him because mike is old he does no longer have the stamina of a young man as he used to i mean heck i'm 40 years old i don't got that stamina that i used to i can't go like you know sorry that that, that, that it's i gotta keep it pg-13 but my whole point is the nigga's old right he's not gonna be able to actually keep up with the same stamina with your young ass and then when he's not even allowed to really go hard on you can't even knock your ass out like What's the point? What's the point of this? Right? So, overall, it was only the metaphor. Right? People looked at it as in like, eh, eh, disappointing. Wow, that was the worst piece of crap I've ever seen. Uh, oh my I'll god, that, that was an abomination. Yeah, sure. That was oh, my, god. Sit oh, oh, my ass is actually oh, sore. Oh, oh, oh. My ass is actually sore. Ever, I gotta give it up for the memes. The memes was freaking incredible, man. Oh my god! Like so, I love the internet. The internet, you guys come up with some, some of the best meme out there when it comes to this whole promotion, the fight, and everything else. And I love it. The fight itself, eh, not so much. But shout out to Mike Tyson. Shout out to Jake Paul. And for those of you who actually still look at Jake Paul as in like he's just a YouTuber that just promote boxing event, no. Jake Paul got them hands, you know? <laughs> I no longer consider Jake Paul as a YouTuber that just happened to have boxing matches. He's a fighter. The guy had been training for the past five years or so, or more than that, so he got them hands. I can no longer see him as just a YouTuber. He's a fighter. And, yeah, shout out to Jake Paul. He did his thing. Shout out to Mike Tyson. He did his thing as well. And uh, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What did you guys think about the fight? Was it what you expected? Were you satisfied or were you disappointed? Let me know down below. And yes, subscribe down to the channel. Once again, I'm your host, The Haitian. So share, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here, guys. Peace. It's all a bunch of lies. Now save this video so after the fight you can come back to it and be like, Whoa, mate, how did you know? Because I know i got people on the ground. So let me tell you what people on the ground are telling me about the upcoming fight. Last time Mike Tyson had a professional fight was against a man named Kevin McBride. Take a look at him. Looks very similar to Jake Paul in a way. You know he does. Now he knocked out Mike Tyson. That was nearly 20 years ago, mate. Mike Tyson was in his 30s, now he's in his 50s. He was fitter, younger. Mike Tyson has spent the last 10 years, something like that, smoking the green green, because he owns a farm, green green farm. 
sells that stuff. Manufacturing business, it's legal now. So don't tell me a man that was knocked out 20 years ago stands a chance after he's been smoking against a, a YouTuber that spent the last five years just, not well, but fighting people. There's no competition and you know it. 